the first thing to understand that the world they are creating in education in this country now is to provide what I call Kentucky Fried Education. Cheap, quick, fast, you swallow it, you barely digest it and you excrete it. That's the system they want, and in between they don't care what happens. They do not want now, in the capitalist system as it is structured at the moment, despite the huge crises that are taking place, to produce citizens who are capable of questioning and thinking. They don't need a system like that. Just like they don't need universities where students say, what you've done is wrong, we're going to occupy. In the same way they don't like people who question the political and economic and social priorities of the system under which we all live. And we are seeing a process, this is part of it, where democracy itself is being followed out. In the recent election, if you looked at these debates which were built up by the media, great debates, they've energized the system. What if they energized? They've actually got people out to come and vote. If you judge the debates by what these three politicians were saying, it was roughly, more or less, exactly the same. doesn't really permit big dissent within their ranks, why should they encourage the emergence of educated citizens who question, who doubt, who are skeptics? Because that is what philosophy has been as a tradition, historically, from a long, long time in the past. who are capable of questioning and thinking.